Hi guys, so the second question we had today was from Zoe and it was to do with muscle aches and pains in the perimenopause. So this is a very nuanced topic and um, it's a hard one to answer in the fact that you've got the side of using Western medicine um, and I heard someone recently speaking about how humans weren't supposed to live this long. So if you're in the perimenopause and the menopause, in the olden days, people weren't living that long. So now the use of hormone replacement therapy, um, which does have a new name, I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but that is using synthetic hormones that are bioidentical to the hormones in your body. So not the ones that you take when you're on the pill. It's a different set of hormones, basically. Um, and these ones look to your body like normal hormones, which help you with all of the symptoms. Um, there are also other reasons why hormone replacement therapy is good. So it can help with your um, bone density and stuff like that, where if, say, you have issues with your bone density because you're in the menopause and hormone replacement therapy, I have seen someone very close to me use it and it has given them that quality of life. But I think where normally I'd come from a standpoint of saying you need to address the cause, the cause is that your body hasn't got any eggs left and your body is changing. Your hormones are having an, like a very erratic effect in your body because it's they're going, oh, we need to make sure that we use lots of hormones to stimulate the follicles because there might be one more egg left. And then it's this, it's basically like your body's scrambling to try and make a baby because it knows that something's up. And there's so many different things at play. There's so many different um, hormones that are becoming depleted in the body and the imbalances are there. So in terms of hormone replacement therapy, there is always that side. But then also I have been researching, and this is only a knowledge share, this isn't me giving advice, um, about seed cycling. So we all know about oestrogen and progesterone. We all know that those are hormones that are quite big hormones in the menstrual cycle. They're not the only ones, but they're very big. Um, and the thing with seed cycling is that you have certain seeds that have certain phytoestrogens in them um, and different seeds that help in other ways. So if you look up seed cycling, you can look up the different seeds that are recommended. Um, if people go into the, into the menopause early, so if they have a full hysterectomy, they are not producing any of the hormones in their ovaries anymore because their ovaries have been removed, then seed cycling is a really good thing. Um, Dr. Mindy Peltz has written a blog on that. Um, I'll try and find it and link it in the comments. So she talks about how you can use the moon cycle if you don't have a cycle to use seeds in order to increase the levels of oestrogen and progesterone in the body in different parts of the cycle. And I remember a few years back, I saw seed cycling on a Facebook page and I was just like, oh, I don't really understand that. That's a bit heebie-jeebie. Why would seeds help? But I know a lot about oestrogenics um, from the standpoint of a male and how oestrogenics are bad and that they cause cancer and that there's lots of different phytoestrogens that are very strong. So, for example, a family member of mine went through breast cancer therapy and was told not to drink milk and not to, to avoid soy because it's so oestrogenic. So because their breast cancer was attached to oestrogen. So... Basically, looking at seed cycling would be a good way of fixing the root cause. So the joint pain that you're having is because of the perimenopause, then fix the root cause. But also fixing the symptoms. Boswellia is something for joints. Devil's Claw is also something for joints. These are two different supplements. Um, you can apply them topically as well. I personally find for my joints, even though I'm not in the perimenopause, um, green lipped muscle gel it has glucosamine and magnesium in it um just massaging that onto my joints so doing a race last weekend that was lots of downhill bashing my knees basically um i have been putting some of that on my knees when they've been feeling sore and have felt a difference whether it's the placebo effect or not but yeah that's um my advice there and i'd say ashwagandha if you know that you don't have any contraindications um so look at ashwagandha if you have any problems with your thyroid anything like that um but then also going to the doctor or going to a functional medicine practitioner a functional medicine naturopathic physician um and working out what levels you have 
of hormones in your blood and then trying to think of different ways to bolster your own body's way of fixing your hormones so that you can get rid of that joint pain.